digital components to harp crowns. Uh, there are nano IDs within the particles that are have specific components of what to do. And it's that's how digital works. It, 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 only certain components that have a certain code will react to a certain code that's hidden. In. And uh, therefore, what we have over top of us is not only uh, a power structure, but it's a digital computer complex. It is a huge, huge computer above us. something I'm not supposed to, I'm not familiar to uh, how this pal talk works. Post your link again. tell pe people welcome to the new matrix because it's here it's it's above us it's it's all around us these particles are falling to the ground they have n nano digital components to them uh, there's more gelons which nobody wants to believe in uh, but it's got digital components that are falling from from the air they go into your skin and crystallize inside your uh, body through your kidneys through your digestive system and then work its way back out so now what people are asking you is does this have anything to do with blue beam oh boy absolutely look at onslow that's uh, one of the heart stations there uh, you you energize a, a energy field, a cylindrical energy field, and then you, it, it's just like making a TV uh, set. You have uh, an energized area, and then you, you focus a beam through that, a small beam, and it, it becomes physical. Therefore, yeah, you're seeing things. You can see, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, someone's going to have to help me. When the picture is made, uh, kind of 3D. There it is, hologram. You can project holograms via part. Yes. But it takes multiple tools to do so. It isn't just one harp station working to do that. It's an energy field that's developed into the air. There are metallic objects in the air that are resonant to certain things or certain ID, nano IDs. If those are uh, hit in a certain way with certain frequencies or with certain codes, they become a tool. Jet stream. It's not just about creating atmospheric compression. It's not just about uh, a protective mechanism that's being used in the ionosphere. But it's also, they've also found ways to use it uh, to create holographic uh, pictures. What did you say? Not only just holographic pictures, go even into even minuscule signals that uh, our brain feels or sees. 
It can change our feelings. It can change uh, what we're thinking. Uh, it's like a, a hypnotic suggestion. So are you talking about, uh, when you say that Marshall Silver, are you, what is the, the resonant signature of our brain? And what is the resonant signature of the Earth? Okay, the Earth frequency is 1.6 hertz. That's, if you follow all your uh, volcanic activity, you can always see that 1.6 hertz uh, being registered at these uh, sites. The body frequency is 1.2 hertz. That is human uh, resonant frequency. That's uh, the comfortable frequency. If you start moving around and playing around that 1.2, you can change people's feelings, their attitudes, their fears, all sorts of things. You can actually imprint in their minds certain video, video type effects. Holy cow. So do you believe in Blue Beam? Is that just a PSYOP program? You're talking about Blue Beam? I believe in Blue Beam, yes. Do you know anybody else other than yourself that believes in Blue Beam? I mean, in your circle of influence. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can, I can, I can show you all my classmates who are dying because of this. Does anybody have a question? I mean, we, 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 we've given you a whole lot of information today. Does anybody have a question? Or are you just daunted by the, the information? <clears throat> Let's take a minute for people to ask questions. Questions, questions, questions. Go ahead. Go, go. Okay, I, I follow it. I just want to know what else, what else, what else. I mean the possibilities. You know, paint me a strange picture. I'm ready. Just bring it out. Picture yourself in a world where your thoughts aren't your own anymore. The weather is not natural. The earth is being reshaped. Let's go even further than that. Uh, let's go out in the, to the universe and, and to, into the unknown. What are we doing to the external portions of our, our universe. This is not stopping here on Earth. This goes on. Absolutely, for sure. Can they, can they project, uh, can HARP be used as a tool to bring down segments of the magnetosphere, which this, this question is, is about can they bring fire and burn people? That's, you know. Go ahead. Put you a very fine example. I'm dying. I'm dying because I have tumors and resonance burns all over my body, inside my body, from working with HARP. Uh, being in the RF fields, it creates a RF burn inside your body, outside your body, on your scars, everywhere. These RF burns become resonant to those harp frequencies. It does not matter where on earth I go. When harp hurt, uh, fires off certain specific frequencies, I have convulsions and have uh, seizures that uh, the last time it stopped my heart. I spent the last two weeks in the hospital in a basement in a hospital with 30 doctors coming in and out and they put me into a drug-induced coma to prevent me from passing on. Oh, there we go. So is, 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 are we looking at a heavy mass object? Are we looking at things that are happening in space? Now, we're talking primarily about the man-made events, but, but are they doing this because they realize that, that 
what has happened before is going to happen again. Have they, are they developing this entire thing, uh, you know, to, to draw, draw people away from the natural events that are taking place right now? Have, have these things happened before? How many satellites have you seen fall out of the uh, orbit for no reason at all? Uh, on the space lab, do, I, I don't think people realize it, but there was a, all of a sudden, a, a urgent reason to get the people off the space lab and back to the Earth for no apparent reason. Uh, there was reason. It was because the mag magnosphere was being pulled and pushed in such a way that there was a fear of it coming out of orbit. Uh, we've had 13 satellites come down just as last year because they were falling out of orbit for some reason. Why? Changing the magnetic field the sphere creates a misappropriated gravitational pull in certain areas of the Earth, causing uh, an elliptical orbit, which once it starts, they can't stop it. So, so how far are these satellites? How high up, up are they? I mean, how far into our, uh, you, know, how, you know, in space are they? When you say geo, uh, you know, synchronized orbit, these satellites, how far up are they? Some of them are 230 miles out. Some of them are several thousand miles out. It doesn't matter. They're within the realm of gravity, and any change in Earth's gravity changes their orbit. So there is something, you know, perpetrating. You know, the not just it's not just it's not just a uh, part, right? There's something obviously you know, causing this kind of compression, other than just man-made events, right? Absolutely. Uh, everything happens as a response to, uh, how do you want to put it? Earthquakes are going to happen. But given the token that something can start it earlier and initiate it, uh, in a controlled fashion means it's going to happen when they want it to happen.